beautiful and welcome to my channel. This video I'm going to dedicate to my favorite item in Lolita, my most beloved item, the most essential item in Lolita, the petticoat. But we are also going to talk about the bloomers. We often forget about the bloomers, but the bloomers are important in Lolita as well. And yes, I dressed up all this fancy for you today just to talk about underwear. Because why not? We talk way too little about underwear. First, I thought I would show you my petticoats and what I have underneath my dresses and how I get the poof and the volume. Here is the A-line petticoat that I had for many, many years. It's not as poofy as it once was, but it still has a good shape. This is my bell-shaped petticoat from Classical Puppets. It's a very good petticoat with a good shape and a lot of fluff and I really recommend this one. And to get a really good fluff, I recommend you get two. Here you see two petticoats from Classical Puppets on top of each other. It gives a really nice poof, very good shape. This is my crinoline from Fan Plus Friends. This one was quite pricey, but I know there are a lot cheaper alternatives out there. But I really like this crinoline. It gives a really good poof to the dress and it doesn't fall flat after half the day. This is what I normally wear underneath my dresses. It's my crinoline and a bell-shaped petticoat on top of the crinoline. This gives me a really nice shape and a good poof that lasts all the day. Every Lolita must have at least one petticoat or you'll probably have a whole bunch of them because you need to build up to poof. Without a petticoat you are not a real Lolita. Of course you can wear your dresses without a petticoat but then it's not really Lolita, not really, it's more like a dolly K or Ottoman style or something like that. It's not really Lolita, not according to today's standard. When the Lolita fashion was young, they didn't have that much poof and that much petticoats. Sometimes they didn't have a, any petticoats at all. You can see when you look at old pictures, the dresses are completely flat sometimes. And that to me is very Ita and it doesn't look good. And luckily the fashion has grown and developed and the shape and the volume has grown over the years so now it's very important to get a really good poof that stays all day. It's like the biggest problem in Lita, the biggest struggle we have how to get the poof and how do I get it to stay all day. There are many many different kinds of petticoats out there and they're different brands, they're different lengths, different shapes. And it's so important to find the right petticoat for you and your dresses. For example, if you're like me and wear mostly sweet, you should choose a bell-shaped petticoat. Because most sweet dresses have that cute cupcake shape. But there are some especially classic dresses that have more like an A-shaped uh, line. So then you have to get an A-shaped petticoat. And it doesn't really look that good if you have a cupcake shaped dress and wear a line petticoat underneath. You don't get a right kind of volume and it looks a bit odd. So it's very important to get a right kind of petticoat for your wardrobe, for your dresses. My favorite petticoats are my classical puppet petticoats. I think they are adorable, they are really cute and they are also really, really great. For my everyday coats, I just wear one because it's a lot easier, but it doesn't get that much proof, it doesn't get any real volume. If I want volume, I use two of them to get the proof, to get the right shape. But lately I prefer using my crinoline and one petticoat on top of that. It gives a really good shape. And the best of it is that it stays all day, obviously, because the crinoline doesn't lose shape. 
and it doesn't get that insanely hot that it sometimes gets when you have like 10 layers of petticoats and it's easier to move around and it's just wonderful it's lovely it's like you feel free in you just have the same kind of volume anyway so it's lovely I really really recommend you to get a crinoline it's so worth it trust me getting a crinoline was probably the best thing I have ever done it was like oh my god it was amazing absolutely amazing so trust me when I say you should get a crinoline it's the best decision ever you get a perfect shape and you don't have to get that hot and sweaty and you don't have to deal with all that many layers of petticoats that's just getting stuck on each other and it's just kind of a, just a mess of things that tangling around your legs you don't need that just one crinoline and all your problems are solved it's amazing but we're also going to talk about bloomers I really really like bloomers and I think they are very underrated and I guess not many uses bloomers actually which is kind of sad and kind of bad because they are actually really good to have there have been times when I've been at meetups and I suddenly have been seeing more of someone than I wanted to because they were bending over to fix a shoe or doing something and suddenly I can see everything it's not charming, it's not ladylike, it's not graceful it's nothing that any of us want so please wear your bloomers also if you're wearing socks, just socks and no tights you should wear bloomers because the wind might get caught in your dress and lift it up and suddenly you're showing everything to the world and that's not so nice not so fun so I really recommend you to wear your bloomers I don't always wear bloomers because I normally wear tights and they cover up quite a bit but also underneath my dresses I wear like a long top it's more like a short dress and it covers up my butt and everything so it feels a bit unnecessary to put on bloomers as well because the top is basically doing the same work as the bloomers would have done but I really really like bloomers and I don't have that many but a couple and I thought I just would show you a bit quickly and first I have these are actually not bloomers they're actually a pair of shorts that I got from H&M actually oh dear they are quite useless as shorts because they are transparent and uh, I have never worn them as shorts because you can see right through them and I don't want people to see my panties but they work perfect as bloomers and I think they are really cute with lace so it's kind of frilly and it fits below Vita but you don't have to have really frilly stuff it's okay to just wear a couple of shorts and just to cover up your panties and here I have really cute bloomers um, they are very like this pumpkin shape I really love them sometimes I use them as shorts because they're so cute and they're just frilly a little bow yeah they're, they're quite short but they look really cute and here I have something a little bit longer same model but longer they don't show underneath the dress they are just dress I think ends about here so you don't really see you don't really see them but they might just show a bit if you like leaning forward or something but I think they are really funny and I love stripes so why not mm. 
and here are actually my favorite ones. I don't use them that often because they're very long. They end, I think they end just underneath my knees, so they definitely show underneath the dress. And I think they are absolutely beautiful with all the ruffles and of course they are supposed to be shown. You're supposed to see all this and they are, have a bow here. And I think they're just adorable, but sometimes it's a bit too much with this kind of stuff. But I've always really, really wanted to have bloomers that shows underneath the dress. Sometimes it looks beautiful, absolutely perfect. But it doesn't always fit. And not everybody likes this kind of stuff, but I really, really love it. It gives a really old look, kind of antique look really cute. I hope you learned something from this video or at least enjoy it and please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done that. That would make me so happy and thank you so much for watching. I love you my little darlings. Bye bye!